Good morning, racing fans. Welcome back to the channel. Brought to you in association with betting.co.uk. I'm Ginger Joe, and I'm back with three selections for you for today's jumps racing over at Tremor. In fact, it's an evening meeting from Tremor, and I've got three selections for you to get stuck into. Now, with these three selections, I advise backing them as singles, doubles, and a treble as well. And I'm in search of a little bit of profit to take us into the remaining jumps fixtures that we've got this week. On Friday and Sunday, we've got jumps action from Tremor. But on Saturday, we've got jumps action from Market Raisin and Perth, where I will actually have a lucky 31 for you to get stuck into. So if you're new to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button because you'll be notified when my selections do come live here on YouTube. If you're looking for some extra content, especially with the jumps action starting to roll out, if you'd like to come over and join my group chat, there's a link in the description below. And we're giving away bonus footage, free bets, cash giveaways every single month. And of course, you'll get early access to all of my selections there as well. But I'm going to go straight on to today's action. And my first selection comes in the opener at Tremor, where we've got a two-mile novices chase. And there are a couple of interesting runners in this field. One of them is ahead of the posse for Gavin Cromwell, who I did actually back last time out in the deep handicap hurdle at Galway. And he ran a really nice race. Stayed on very nicely to finish second at the finishing line. And he actually makes his awaited chase debut uh, today. I would have actually preferred a little bit of a cut in the ground for his chances. And even though he's well related to some pretty decent chasers, I think his chances are quite ground dependent. So I'm just going to sidestep him despite him having received a little bit of support in the market. And I think this race opens up for It Was Fate for Henry de Bromed and Rach Blackmore at 7 to 4. Three jump starts to date, ran pretty well in all three of those as well. Very consistent, a good traveller, a good jumper, and actually sets the standard on form. He was a beaten favourite last time out, but again, it was quite a deep race, and he did still run a very nice run to finish third. And he is actually still open to a little bit more improvement over this trip. He sets a pretty decent standard, and 7-4 to four is short enough in the betting, but I think he's got a real good chance of getting us off to a good start on Wednesday's action. My second selection comes in the 549, where I like Will You Win for Ollie McCurlin and Philip Enright. The second start for Will You Win over fences, and was actually quite unlucky not to get the job done last time. I wasn't too well fancied, actually, went off at 12 to 1, but travelled really nicely throughout that race to finish just two and a half lengths behind Choice of Words, and I think that is form really worth standing up for. Gets a little bit of weight here beyond the field as well, possibly still progressing in quite a nice fashion too. And I think at 7-2, to two, this one is actually pretty decent value. I think she's going to go very, very well indeed on her second start over the fences and could take a little bit of stopping once again. Um, in the seven, uh, in the seven nineteen actual, we've got a nice novice hurdle here. And there's a short price favourite in the name of Foxfire Glow for Gordon Elliott, Mark Walsh and JP McManus. However, I quite fancy Hidalgo de Mott here. Everything could just start to come together for this one a little bit more. And at 3-1, to one, quite well supported so far, I think he could be a really good uh, opportunity here for him to get a win on the board. He's very consistent without necessarily winning. He is actually still a maiden after these 12 starts, but everything looks in place this time for him to go really well indeed. He's got the ground that he likes, good track, good trip, good traveller as well, and sort of coming into a form where he looks like he's probably on a little bit of a winnable mark this time as well. He sets a pretty decent standard here outside of the favourite, and at 3-1, to one, I think Hidalgo de Mott gets the job done. So, just three selections for you today, and that was It Was Fate in the 5.15 at 7-4. to four. Will you win in the 5.49 at 3-1, to one, and then Hidalgo de Mott at 3-1 to one in the 7.19. All three selections, of course, are coming from Tremor. Now, these selections were actually put up at bigger prices in my group chat. As I've mentioned, if you'd like to come over and join us there, there's a link in the description below. Cash prize giveaways, loads of extra content. We cover other sports as well. And there's lots going on on a daily basis. Welcome to come over and join us. Just click that link in the description below. Okay, so thanks everyone for tuning in. As mentioned, I'll be back again this evening with some selections for tomorrow's racing at Tremor. And this weekend, I've got a lucky 31 for the jumps action. So you won't want to miss out on that. But just don't forget to hit subscribe to be notified of those selections. Thanks again for tuning in and good luck with your Thursday bets. Bye for now.